Joining us now is two-time All-Star with the New York Knicks, Julius Randle. Julius, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us here on NBA Today. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Appreciate you guys having me. We really appreciate it. You have 20 points in 19 straight games. And I, I just want to, you're one of the first four players this season to have 700 or more points, 250 plus rebounds, 150 plus assists. It's you, Giannis, Jokic, Joel Embiid. So you and the last like five MVPs. What does that say about your game right now? Uh, I mean, it's humbling to be, you know, mentioned in the same, you know, categories, those guys. Uh, I always just pride myself on just continuing to get better. Um, you know, not really focusing on the results, but more so the process and uh, just continuing to get better each day. So, you know, when you hear numbers like those and hear things like those mentioned with those guys who, you know, I have a lot of respect for and compete with on a daily basis, um, you know, it's humbling for sure. This year, the first six games to the season versus what we've seen over the last 28, what do you think has been the biggest difference for you? Uh, <laughs> I think um, just me catching and finding my rhythm. You know, I went uh, through a whole summer of, you know, having to sit still and not really do anything mm. uh, as far as physically, you know, just trying to rehab and get my ankle right, get my body right. Uh, you know, which was good. You know, sometimes you got to slow down to catch up. But um, for me, you know, I was able to slow down. And uh, unfortunately, you know, it, it had its, you know, whatever it was at the beginning of the season, which was which was hard getting adjusted. But, um, you know, I think over the past however many games you said, um, it's just been about me continuing just to attack each day, fall in love with the process. And, just continue to get be, uh, better each day. You're such a competitive guy. What was it like for you trying to not try to push too hard and try to get out of that? Because I, I know you and I know that you, the, you that must have been driving you crazy. Yeah, it was driving uh, me crazy. It was driving my family crazy because, you know, I was bored sitting down. My wife, everybody, they didn't know how to deal with me. Uh, you know, they were actually ready for me to get back to work probably. But uh, it was tough. You know, it was... It was a little bit of, you know, me on my own, maybe doing things that I shouldn't have been doing, <laughs> pushing like, myself. Oh, there uh, we go. <laughs> just, but, yeah, just because I, I couldn't sit still, and it was it was tough for me. But, uh, you know, overall, it, it was a good process. It was a good learning process. You mentioned your family, your, your son, Kaiden. He's a little bit obsessed with the Knicks and, and with checking your stats. Can you tell me what, what, what <laughs> happened on Christmas Day with, with you and Kaiden? Yeah, he's always, uh, he's a numbers guy. I'm a math guy myself, but he's a numbers guy. And it's Christmas Day, it's every game. Um, he asks my wife, she's like, I can't with Kaiden because after every game, he's asking, what is that averaging? What is that averaging? What is, <laughs> how many points is that averaging? Like, did it go up? Like, he's always asking those type of questions. So it's funny. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. I guess, you know, for me, like I said, I focus on the process, but, yeah. you know, he cares about the results. So. <laughs> right. When you have someone who's reminding you, uh, hey, Dad, um, we need to get this decimal point. We need to go from 23.9 to 24 exactly. He was very happy, I heard, when you when you made that tiny little jump, even though it's kind of all out in the wash. Exactly. That's amazing. Exactly. Uh, I love that so much. Well, I imagine that, that he was excited about some of the moves that the Knicks made. Let's talk a little bit about that. How did you find out? about the OG trade? Um, I mean, I found out like uh, most everybody else. Um, you know, I talked to, you know, some of the guys before it officially happened. And, you know, it was bittersweet, you know, because uh, I trust Leon and Wes, you know, front office, Gers, all those guys to do 100% um, what's, um, you know, best for our team. And, you know, I think that they did that. Uh, but, you know, you go to war and establishing a relationship, you know, and guys like RJ and Quick, they become your brothers uh, over the yeah. you know, past three or four years um, that has been. And it's tough, you know, to say goodbye. But I know they're going to be amazing in Toronto. They have amazing opportunity there. You know, RJ gets to go back home. Quick gets to, you know, really blow up and become the star that I think he will be. So um, I'm excited for those guys. But, you know, I'm really excited for our team. You know, OG is going to add a lot to our team. Uh, he's just a solid player uh, all the way around it. And, 
you know, just really understands high IQ, understands how to play the game of basketball. So he's going to be amazing for us. When I think of OG off of the court, I think of that, that video of him and um, Serge Ibaka talking about, I don't do art, I do fashion. No, I do fashion better. No, this, that, the other. What's something <laughs> you didn't know maybe about OG or his personality that you didn't know competing against him that you know now that you're teammates? Uh, we, him, uh, you know, myself, Precious, we found out, you know, we're Niger boys, um, yeah. you know, OG, uh, so he's talking about making me, uh, or his aunt, his family making me some fufu and jollof and all oh, that type it. of stuff, so I'm excited to, uh, you know, try, try some of that food, uh -huh. um, you know, get some Nigerian food, so I'm gonna hold him to that. I love it. I went to my first Nigerian wedding recently, Chanae's wedding, and we just we had so much fun with all of the traditional food and the dancing and everything. Although I was going to be really impressed. You said OG's oh, cooking. I was like, oh, I'll, all right, but it's family. No, 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 that, no, no. Yeah, it's, yeah, yep. it's family. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, Julius, the, the discourse around this team, and I'm sure you're tired of it, is they don't have enough. They need another star to truly contend. What do you say to that being in this locker room every day? I mean, I've been here, this is my fifth year here. Yeah. I think, yeah, my fifth year. Uh, I've heard it all. Uh, to be honest, I've heard it all about myself. I've heard it all about this team. Um, and, you know, I just know one thing. Every year we continue to get better. We continue to, uh, to defy the odds um, and do what people didn't think we could do or whatever it is. So um, if it's one thing I know about all, us and our team is what we believe in our locker room. Um, what we believe we can accomplish, how much we believe in each other. Uh, we know that we need one through 15 every night. And, uh, you know, that's all we try to focus on. We let the front office do their job and, you know, figure out how to improve our team or whatever it is. But every night we go out, we feel like we have enough in our locker room. Uh, Tibbs does a great job of leading us um, every night and getting us prepared to play. And we genuinely feel like we have a chance to win versus anybody we play against. And we've proved that. We've proven that. So, uh, we just got to continue to get better individually as a team, collectively, and, uh, you know, let the chips fall where they may. That, that mentality, that next man up, that do it by the collective strength in numbers, it's celebrated in a place like Miami where there's, okay, there's not a question of, well, is there a 1A, is there a 1B? Why do you think it's treated differently here? Uh, New York. <laughs> it's a little different here. Uh, it's the media capital of the world. Uh, you know, we feed off of... Uh, you know, just a little bit of spice, mm. uh, a little bit of speculation and all that different type of stuff. So, uh, you know, I've had my learning experiences, my ups and downs with it. Uh, but the biggest thing I can say is, you know, here, you, you can't really focus on it. You got to just focus on each and every night, continuing to get better. Um, you know, you have a great game. You're the best in the world. You have a bad game. You getting traded. You need to get traded. So <laughs> it's just the way it is. It's the way that things go here. Uh, but, you know, it's fine. I love it. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You're one of the rare players now that I think about it, now that I think about it, who has played for both glamour franchises. I put that in air quotes, the Lakers, the Knicks. What does it take? What is the DNA, the makeup of that player? I guess I'm asking the makeup of you that makes it so that you can do that, because I imagine that that isn't for everybody. Yeah, I think it goes back to, you know, when I first, um, you know, got to the Lakers and, and Kobe just telling me to just sacrifice everything and fall in love with the process. And for me, uh, you know, whenever I'm, especially if I'm like hitting a rough patch or, if, you know, um, I'm not feeling great about where my game is at, like a la first couple of games of the season. Uh, for me, that's, you know, when I lock in even more, when I, you know, really fall in love with the process, the grind, that's uh, the times that I honestly look forward to because that's when you find out the most about yourself, you know. So it's not really necessarily about the results or what I did good uh, in a game or bad in a game. It's like, all right, how can I keep improving? And uh, I think when you continuously, you know, every day search out those answers and try to fall in love with how can I continue to get better. Um, you know, it ends up working that way. And then you'll look up and, you know, the results will follow. Do you think about, I remember a couple of years ago, you talking about, thinking about, you go to, you still go to gyms, you land first thing. That's something that Kobe taught you. Is that still something you do? Do you think about what he would tell you through these things very often? Every day, every day. I think it's, uh, 
what's embedded in me now. It's a part of the process of just who I am. Um, you know, I just have a, a genuine desire and love and passion just to continue to get better, you know? So it's not really, um, you know, something that I'm searching for or whatever it is. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. it's one of those things where it's just kind of embedded into my lifestyle of, of who I am, you know, as a, as a basketball player at mm -hmm. this point in my career. Well, speaking of the process, as you said, you have a big game against the Philadelphia 76ers here on ESPN. Um, mm -hmm. What does it take to slow someone like Joel Embiid? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't you, have we, that. <laughs> we can, dump, we can circle back on that one. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Give them a bad meal before the game, some mm. food poison. I don't know. We're like, yeah, I don't know who we're gonna have to cheat. But you know, a guy like Joel, you can't slow him down. Yeah. You know, one person. You have to do it with your team. Uh, you have to make them work on both ends of the floor. Um, you know, you can really just for a player like that, just hope to make it tough for him and uh, try to limit everybody else. You know, guys like him, they average forty points a game for a reason. You yeah. know, everybody's trying to figure out how to stop them, but. Um, it's more about stopping their team, I feel like. And um, I feel like if we do that, you know, put forth the team effort, uh, we win the game. Just a couple more for you, Julius. Why do you have confidence? Mm -hmm. You said earlier, this, this group feels like they can beat anybody. To me, that sounds like you have confidence with this team that you can go all the way. Why are you confident that you can do better, avenge last year's playoff loss? We're gem rats, uh, to be completely honest you know everybody in the is uh in the jail continuing you know to try to improve uh individually you know as a team you know we're working together obviously uh you know Tibbs has us working but um I mean I think confidence and simple it comes from just your preparation and you know guys are prepared here because they're gym rats you said tick can I ask what does Tibbs do for fun <laughs> <laughs> uh, what does he do for fun? I think you know his his uh, version of fun is screaming at us. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, fair I enough. Mean, Tibbs is a, is a basketball junkie. He just loves to coach. You know that's his passion. That's his life. That's what he loves to do. So you know, anytime he can cuss us out and you know. Do all that type of stuff. Yeah, I think that's what he lives for. He does it with a little smile too. Are you having more fun? Yeah, that's his fun. This year, playing in Madison Square Garden when it's like this. Absolutely, absolutely. Anytime we win, uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, anytime we're improving uh, as a team, and you see that you know us making strides, it's fun. Um, like I said, I played in the glamorous franchises of you know the Lakers. I played at Kentucky. Um, there's nothing like Madison Square. You know, it was a Wednesday night yesterday, and it was like it was the NBA Finals, and it's like that every game. You know, there's nothing like the fans there um, on a night-to-night -night basis. Um, you know, we're, we're really lucky. Let's end here. The official New York Knicks X social media account asked this. They asked, what should the duo of you and Brunson be called. Do you have any ideas for a nickname? <laughs> uh, no, we should take a poll. We All should right. take a poll. I haven't, I haven't thought of that one. Next um, NBA Today if poll. I, yeah, if I ask Jalen, there's no telling what type of answer I would get. But yeah, we'll, we'll let the fans decide. Let's take a poll on that. For now, we'll just go with winners. Uh, Julius, thank <laughs> yeah, you so very perfect. much. <laughs>